Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the cabin. I'm going to go out here and get started on this little building, and hopefully I can get close to getting the foundation in there, getting the flooring on, getting the pipes pulled up through um, the floor, and then I may go ahead and break and try to finish the unistrut on that front section down there and see if we can't get some of the solar panels mounted. Well, I just got done cutting the brackets and now it's going to rain me out. <laughs> so I'll have to wait it out a little bit and try later.
going to spray paint the top of these because that's what's going to hold down the solar panels. Well, I'm on my way down to the creek to kind of check it out to see what the aftermath of that hurricane was. It came through last night, but honestly, folks, we didn't have many high winds at all. It's just been raining a whole lot. And of course, the ground is very saturated. I can see the creek uh, is probably running about half full, but there are pictures and stuff that folks have been sending me around our area where there's a lot of flooding up and out of the creek banks into low-lying areas. So. I'll meet you down there. They hear all that water down there in the creek and they are very curious. So let's see if they take the plunge up here. Let's see if Hollywood's gonna jump in and take a sponge bath. Hey Hollywood, are you taking a sponge bath? Huh? You ready to go? Huh? Well, they sure get enjoyment out of going down here to the creek. I'll tell you, all they want to do is get wet and then go up there and lay down at the cabin. But it's exciting for them, so we want to keep them in good spirits, right? Well, when you build with true lumber like this, nothing that you buy is going to fit right, so you kind of have to make it yourself. I've got two different size screws here. I've got some to go in here and then these smaller ones to hold me in right there.
right, this is 104 inches. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I had an idea last night, so I'm gonna take you down here to the workshop and I'll show you what I mean. This right here is the material that I cut last year for the workshop that got molded. So last night the thought came to me, hey, why don't I use some of that and see if I can get rid of it? So the idea was we're gonna go up here and use that for subflooring on the new juice check. That's the official name of it. It's going to be Ohm Sweet Ohm. Anyway, we'll get up here, get this tube of tin put in there, and see if we can't get some of that flooring down.
we're just about to the end and that makes me happy. Well, good morning. This is actually two days after Helene hit this area. So I imagine that a lot of you all have seen on the news uh, the surrounding area and everything that was impacted by all of that water. So it's really sad. And if you didn't see it, I put out a video yesterday on our review channel. You can go check that out because I talked a whole lot about uh, what has happened um, in this area. So my plan today is I've got some pressure treated 2x4s over there that I'm going to put on the saw and split them down the middle. I need to add one more of these blocks down there then I'm going to put that, it's going to be like a tow board that will hold my panels up here. I still need to cut the unistrut and put on this one and then this 2x4 right here. I didn't have enough screws but I have them now. Go ahead and put those on there and try to get the front one looking like this right here and then we will be set to put the solar panels on.
it's trying to rain on me again. So I'm hoping to at least get these put up here. It's trying to rain me out again, but I got so close to getting that little uh, knee brace on there. But um, be sure and stay tuned for the next video because we'll be working on it. Friends, thanks so much for stopping by. We certainly do appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.